everyone! Welcome to my very first YouTube video. My name is Noor Shazlin Chong and I would like to thank the Faculty of Education for having me in this interview. Recently, I am living in Selangor. I just graduated from SMK Section 1 Banda Kinwara as an SPM liver this year. Recently too, I am applying for matriculation in professional accountancy. I think that this program is the best fit for me because I value accountancy not only as a course but also as the language of business world. I would like to take part in finance department or accounting firms one day. This is because I acknowledge that this accountancy is very dynamic that it can bring you to any level such as an accountant, advisor, auditor, business manager, or even an entrepreneur. During my SPM those days, accountancy wasn't one of my registered subjects because I took biology. Nevertheless, because of my deep desire, I still registered it and took it as my additional subject in SPM. So it's gonna be very hard because I have two people that I put my eyes on, which are my mom and dad. But since the interview was asked for only one, sorry mom, it's gonna be dad. My dad is a businessman and he works harder than anyone else that I know. His dedication in providing everything that's necessary to me and all my family is something that I appreciate so much and I would like to match when I own a family one day. So thank you mom and dad, both of you are the best. One of my best strengths is that I possess good communication skills in both verbal and non-verbal categories. It is proven by my current part-time job as a tutor in Kumon Center and also Churiwawasan Center where I do not only deal with the students but also with their parents verbally. I have also proven myself with my participation in innovation and technology competition which was held in Bangkok, Thailand last year. Besides that, I was participating in International Students Exchange Program with Matsudo High School Japan, which was held two years ago. Next, I also engaged myself with good leadership skills. When I was in high school, I was the president for my Girl Scout Association, the president for my arts club, the president for the badminton club, and also a vice president of my sports team called Leopard Team. I am also an open-minded person and a very trustworthy person that make people to feel very comfortable to be around me. Now with the pros talking, now let's dig into the cons talking straight away because all of us know that nothing interesting is completely ever one-sided. Okay, so one of my weaknesses is that I sometimes lead myself with emotions and prefer to trust my instincts more than facts when I get too overwhelmed. Other than that, I am also a little bit too timid when it comes to give constructive feedbacks to my friends because I'm afraid if my words can hurt or might hurt their feelings. So I acknowledge these two weaknesses and I am ready to change myself and improve myself into a better version. I'm interested in a lot of physical activities such as sports. Before this pandemic, I was an active fitness instructor who organized a Zumba class for almost every week. I also love to watch Netflix and listen to music of every genre. Whenever I feel stressed about studying, I will always do these three things, exercising, watching televisions, or simply listening to music to ease myself down. The key point to prepare myself is by inserting self-motivation. True, online classes require good connections, devices, and so many more. Same goes to good mentality. I need to lift myself up with true discipline and punctuality in order to keep up with the scheduled classes. Next, I also need to manage my time well in order to have a balanced day. Timetable has been one of my best friends since as long as I can remember. Therefore, I'm going to do the same for these online classes. I will need to create an ideal schedule or timetable in order to keep up with the online classes and be ready every time. I think it is essential because one requires qualifications to be certified to do job related to it. As an example, SCCA qualifications are globally recognized by the employers. Accountants with qualifications like degree, master, ACCA, and CIMA have high levels of technical competency 
experience and also follow the ethical guidelines. As I mentioned earlier, I chose to add accounting as my additional subject during SPM. I have great enthusiasm towards this subject and I wish to dive in deeper to know a lot more about this course. Other than that, I am a well-balanced person in both core curricular and also economical achievements. I can assure you that I'm going to improve a lot in this course and you will not feel regret in choosing me as one of your matriculation students. I believe opportunity knocks at everyone's doors, but if I'm not eligible to be selected, then I will pursue my dream into ACCA FIA, which might require me to apply for scholarships. But whatever happens, I will always put accountancy as my priority. Thank you for listening, and have a good day everyone!